If you are in any doubt whether the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is a bit of a fascist, well, we have a very, very good example in this video. Justin Trudeau is now banning a right-wing media outlet and shutting down free speech. It's not the first time the Canada and the Canadian government have done things like this. Now, there's a bit of a push from his regime, uh, the so-called regime, uh, to shut down debate of any media outlets. And, uh, for example, this time is rebel media uh, that question his policies. And now they've decided to uh, push for this new bureaucratic body and new license, media journalism license. You need to have one of those. And you have to have requirements, meet the requirements in order to be able to be an, an official journalist or reporter. It's called the Qualified Canadian Journalism Organization. And if you decide to, you can softly question policies, you can softly criticize and hold them to account. But if you decide to be, I don't know, just be, be an abstract, op an open thinker, a free thinker, to decide to question the, the, the legitimacy of those policies, then you get into a lot of trouble. Now, he was questioned, Justin Trudeau, a while ago on this issue when he was pushing for this censorship. And this was his response. The only reason that I'm allowed to ask you this question is because today the federal court ruled that the government doesn't have the right to determine who is or is not a journalist. This is the second election in a row that the court had to overturn your government. Do you still insist on being able to make that decision and why? Yeah, so this was a few months ago, a while ago, and when he decided to try to shut them down and do censorship, at the time, the Canadian court decided well, the government shouldn't have the power. First of all, questions around accreditation were handled by the press gallery and the consortium of uh, networks who have uh, strong perspectives on quality journalism and the important information that is shared with Canadians. Uh, so the beginning of the answer is, it's not really up to me. We, you know, we have other organizations that sort it out. And then... Uh, the reality is, organizations organizations like yours uh, that continue to spread misinformation and disinformation. Oh yeah, here comes the gaslighting. And quite frankly, your, I won't call it a media organization, your group of uh, individuals uh, need to take accountability for uh, some of the polarization that we're seeing in this country. And I think Canadians uh, are cluing into the fact that uh, there is a really important decision we take about the kind of country we want to see. And I salute all extraordinary, hardworking journalists. So not only that certain media organizations are not seen as media organizations in the eyes of Justin Trudeau, he made a bit of a mistake. He said that on the one hand, it's dangerous. You are spreading fake news and people are stupid that they're believing into it. So yeah, okay, fine. And then he says, well, the Canadian people are very smart and they, they are already realizing that you guys, your right-wing media outlets, are spreading fake news. So wait, are they smart now? Because if they're smart, then, then there's no need for this state-controlled censorship. Make up your mind. Are Canadian people smart or stupid, Justin Trudeau? And that is, it's, it's a choice. It's your choice. Uh, we're going to come back with more um, media and news updates uh, and also the Westminster bubble in this channel throughout the evening. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya TC and we are the media, Justin Trudeau.